we'll need three columns. The list of tasks, their start dates, and the duration in days. Now, select the start date and duration columns. Then, go to the Insert tab, click on Bar Chart, and select 2D Bar. Excel automatically creates a bar chart. But as you can see, the tasks are in reverse order. Right-click on the vertical axis, select Format Axis, and then scroll down to check Categories in reverse order. This will put our tasks in the correct order from top to bottom. Next, we need to set the start date correctly on the horizontal axis. Click on the dates, then adjust the minimum bound to your project's start date. For example, August 1st is 45,480 in Excel's date system. Great, now our chart is aligned correctly, but we need to add another data series to show the task durations. Simply drag the range finder to include the duration column as well. Now we see two bars, but we only want to show the actual task durations. Click on the blue bars representing the start dates, go to Fill, and select No Fill. Then, Remove the border by choosing No Line. And there you have it, a clean Gantt chart. You can add a chart title if you like. The best part is, if you change any dates or durations in the table, the chart updates automatically. This makes it easy to keep track of your project's progress and present it in PowerPoint or any other presentation tool. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more tips and tricks. See you in the next video.